Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the macro recorder, which is really one of my favorite tools. That's right here. It says record macro. So we're going to go ahead and click that, and we're going to record our first little baby macro. And you may have done this before, but bear with me. This is pretty fun. So here's where you can. We're not going to change the name, but you could type a special name for your macro, where to store it, and you could even give it a little description here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit OK. So the first time I did this, I was thinking, well, I better hurry up and record everything. And I was trying to do all these actions lickety-split before I hit stop recording so that my macro wouldn't take too long, right? Well, that's not actually how it works. It actually just records each of your actions, um, but you could leave the computer for three hours and then come right back, and it would still be... Uh, it would still just wait for your next action before it transcribes it. So let's go ahead and just, we're going to click on a cell here, B1, and we're going to click on A1. And then we're going to type in, hello world, exclamation mark, and let's hit enter. That's good enough. I'm going to click on stop recording. We've actually done three or four actions here. We've clicked here, clicked there, typed in action, and actually when we hit enter, it thinks that we selected cell A2, even though we thought we were just solidifying the typing. So let's go ahead and uh, if you want to go into the Visual Basic Editor, you can press Alt F11, uh, which will go in. You'll see that a lot in the course. Or you can click on the Visual Basic Editor, which is right here in the Developer tab. So let's click on that. Not a lot going on here just yet, but I will tell you... Um, we have sheets. This is sheet one and two, and each of them are containers that could contain code. We also have a workbook, and there's only one of these, and that can contain some special codes that's workbook-wide. And then also you have a container, a folder called modules. So in module one, if I double-click, here's where we find the stuff that we just recorded. So we have range one dot select. So that was when, or excuse me, A1. That was when we selected A1. We clicked there. Then we typed in hello world. So it's saying active cell dot formula R1C1 equals hello world in quotes. Um, and then we have range A2 dot select. So that's when I hit enter. It, it technically thought I really, really bad wanted to select cell A2. So that was, um, that was recorded. I want to demonstrate a little bit on how to debug and what debugging is as well. And then we'll go back to the slide. 